Hi, I'm Clint. This is my family, Anna, Lucas and Georgia. I wanted to make a video why we purchased a Velocity kit plane and the process behind the purchase and how we got it from the US to Australia. The first step was to ask Dwayne Velocity some of my very newish questions about the kit. To his credit, he kindly answered them. I then paid the deposit so they could start work on preparing my kit. After a few weeks, I was asked to pay the balance. I used a company called OFX for the money transfer. The price for this service was pretty reasonable and probably the best you'll find. I had decided that I was going to build the Velocity at home. So while we were waiting for the kit to be built, we got to work building a workshop for the kit build. We spent around three months building the workshop shed from a kit. There was a lot of work clearing, scraping, laying crusher dust and leveling the site for the slab. Throughout the purchase process, I had no idea how I was going to get the kit from the US to Australia until out of the blue I got a call from James at Swish Projects here in Australia. Apparently, thanks to my purchase, Velocity reached out to him to be the Australian distributor for the Velocity. James offered to handle the shipping for me since that's what he does, so of course I accepted his help. Once the kit had cleared customs and the GST was paid, I had to get the kit to my house. Unloading the kit from the container at home wasn't really practical, so I chose to unload the container at my work. We hauled the kit from the container onto a hired car trailer with the trailer's winch. We used some bits of plywood to help the kit get up the ramps and prevent it snagging. We were pretty lucky this whole operation went off without a hitch, and it took about half an hour. Once home, we squeezed the kit past the house and into the backyard. We attached the ramps, tied the kit to a nearby tree and just drove it away leaving the kit nicely near the newly constructed workshop. We had to pay $2000 US for Velocity to box up the kit. I think the price for that service was expensive but fair. They did a pretty good job and we were able to reuse the crate materials in the workshop to build workbenches and shelving. So why Velocity? Before anyone decides to buy an aircraft, you need to decide how much you want to spend and what you want it for. For me, and for most people thinking about buying an aeroplane, the issue is money. You need to be able to afford it. When looking around at what was affordable and would fit my mission, the only option was to buy an old clunker or buy an experimental. What I mean by old clunker is something built around 40 to 50 years ago. It's amazing we still have these things from a bygone era. They're a bit like classic cars are now. I'm sure they're safe, but imagine buying a 40 year old used car to be your family car. But in aviation, that's what people do. Some people just buy brand new. New planes are the same cost as a house. So if you weren't sure if you needed a house or a plane, then get the plane. The realistic option is experimental, where you get an up-to-date plane that's affordable to buy, run and maintain, especially if you build it yourself. Now almost no one builds their own plane from scratch. They're all pre-designed, proven planes built from kits that's been designed to be built by someone that's not an expert. However, you'll have to be handy with tools or be willing to learn on the job. So if you're not familiar with what a Velocity is, it's a very fast, very efficient, safe, four-seater kit aircraft designed for cross-country flights. We wanted an aircraft that would carry our family to travel destinations around Australia. We'd like to be able to take some short weekend trips and some holidays away from the Brisbane area. With two kids, airfares can be pricey. To fly a Velocity, you need a private pilot's license. A recreational pilot's certificate isn't good enough. I got my private pilot license back in the early 2000s, just after I left the Navy. And due to the cost, I've done very little flying since. 
pretty much the only way flying is affordable these days is to own something small and light and maintain it yourself. The biggest reason I went with the Velocity was the safety of the canard design. The canard is the wing out the front. When an ordinary plane is flown too slow, the wing stalls. This isn't to be confused with an engine stall like in a car. Here, the wing stops holding up the aircraft, the plane stops flying and starts falling. The canard is designed so if the pilot flies too slow, the front wing will stall, drop the aircraft's nose, which causes the plane to speed up and thus resume normal flight in a matter of seconds. The safe part of all this is that the main wing, which is in the back holding most of the weight physically, can't stall like a regular plane. No stall means no spin. Spin accidents still manage to kill a lot of people each year. Next biggest reason was obviously the cost. I'll break down all the cost in another video, but it's the cheapest true four seat kit airplane available. With airplanes, just because it has four seats doesn't mean it can carry four people. The useful load of the Velocity SE, which is the one I have, is 450 kilos. That means I can carry 450 kilograms of fuel, people and baggage. More people means less fuel, it's kind of a trade-off thing. At full tanks, this means I can carry 290 kilograms of people and baggage. Then the fun part, speed. Unlike the car, where the real top speed is what the speed limit sign says, planes can go as fast as the engine will let them. Bigger engines means more speed, less drag means more speed, and the velocity is very sleek. Aircraft speeds get a little bit complicated, but I'm hoping for a top speed of about 180 knots or 330 kilometers an hour. So that would turn your typical 18 hour drive into a five hour plane ride, which is also the plane's endurance. What I really like most about the Velocity is the engine at the back. This means all the prop wash and most of the noise is sent back away from you instead of at you. It's crazy to think in this day and age that we need hearing protection to ride in a small plane still. It's like sitting next to a lawnmower at full throttle. I'm gonna be quietening up the uh, Velocity a whole lot more than uh, what's usually possible. So I'll discuss that in a later video and probably closer to when the time comes to install the engine. I'm going to be making a lot more videos on the velocity and my engine choice in future videos. So keep an eye out for those as they become available. See ya!